they like me better than you. <laughs> Elizabeth wants to know if they're endangered. 
So there are different species of giraffe, and some of those species are endangered. Others are threatened or vulnerable. Dan wants to know how long is their gestation? So their gestation is 15 months. And how big is a baby when they're born? So when they're born, they can weigh over 100 pounds and they are over six feet tall when they're born. Josiah has a question, I don't know if you'll know it, but he wants to know how big are their eyes? <laughs> so they're about the size of a golf ball or maybe a little bigger. They're very large. These guys have excellent eyesight to see far away. Um, these guys are called the watchtowers of the savanna because they are so tall they can see if there's predators coming from far away and they will warn other animals that there's a lion or a leopard in the vicinity. So their eyesight is really good. Dylan wants to know, what are their predators? Who are their predators in the wild? So an adult giraffe does not really have predators um, because they are so large, not many things will go after them. But a baby giraffe, um, they have a lot. So if you're lions, your leopards, hyena packs, wild dogs, they will try and take down a baby giraffe. Emily asked, what's their favorite food? So here at the zoo, these guys get a variety of food. We give them hay, alfalfa hay, grain. Um, today we're feeding these wasa crackers, which you can see they love. Gonna take all of them. Um, we also give them lettuce and different produce, uh, but they really, really enjoy these wasa crackers. They don't taste very good to me. They're very bland. But as you can see, they love them. Melissa wants to know how much do they eat in a day? So their brain is all measured. Um, each one has a different amount they get. Tessa gets the most. She gets about eight pounds of grain a day. Finn gets two pounds. Theo gets, no, Finn's up to three. Theo gets two. Zoe gets five and Cece gets six pounds of grain, and then they get free choice alfalfa. So they can eat, you know, 50 to 100 pounds of alfalfa a day. Jennifer wants to know, do they form bonds with one another? So these guys live in herds, also known as a tower of giraffe. And those herds generally make up of moms with calves and juvenile males. Um, your adult males are generally solitary and the only time they come around is to breed. Um, but there may be some male drafts on the outskirts of that herd. Tia wants to know how many drafts do we have here at the Cincinnati Zoo? We have a total of five. We have four of them up here right now. And Theo is doing what Theo does best and is standing out in the yard. Um, being Theo, and he will probably come up once all the crackers are gone. Nolan and Griffin want to know, what do we give them for enrichment? So for enrichment, we give them all kinds of things. So if you look around their habitat, you'll notice we have things hanging up on the trees, uh, their puzzle feeders, um, things that make them work for their food, um, anything that makes them work and keep them occupied. We also hang up brows for them. Um, we have different types of wind chimes that they like to hit um, and play with at different times. We have fire hose uh, curtains that they can play with. Um, sometimes we give them boxes um, as enrichment and it's more that we hang it up, we don't really put it on the ground. Um, but sometimes they do things with their boxes. They shouldn't, like Zoe did yesterday for her birthday. She decided to wear it. Um, she didn't care that it was on her. She wasn't happy, but she got it off and she was fine. Um, it happens. 
Our last question is from Luke. He wants to know how long do they live? So these guys can live into their 30s. Um, the median age is probably in the 20s, late 30s. But and this is the baby right here, right? This so is yeah, the youngest. This is Theo. He finally came up and has decided to join in. He's nine months old. He, you're stealing food from your brother, huh? <laughs> Big sisters, you know. But he, you know, he's finally starting to realize what solid foods are, and he's really enjoying his crackers now, his grain and his lettuce. And he's growing like a little weed. Any other questions? Nope. All right. Well, I'd just like to say thank you for tuning in. Come back tomorrow at 3 p.m. to see our African penguins. And click on the link to register for our free virtual zoo safari. Thank you, guys.